Hello, welcome to Cross Cultural Talk. I'm Masood Raja, and this is one of my new series. I'm going to record brief uh, lectures on various post colonial theory concepts. And today's concept is abrogation. And just to be fair, most of my definitions come from Bill Ashcroft et al.'s uh, edited volume, Key Concepts in Postcolonial Theory, and I'll post a link to it uh, in the description. Also, I'm um, using some of these entries from my own website, postcolonial.net. There is a glossary there, so I will post a link there if you are new to my channel, please uh, take a few moments to subscribe so that you can stay updated of what other materials, educational and other, I continuously post and that you can also join some of my live webinars. So coming to abrogation, as a concept, I mean, it literally means uh, what it means in the dictionary to, to uh, abrogate something, to cancel something out. In post-colonial theory, an act of abrogation is when um, a scholar or a writer takes up the European norm, like Eurocentric norm in language, and then either breaks it down and replaces it with something native or something informed through the native culture. But in the process of doing that, what they are doing is they are playing with the awareness of the normative structure of language as established by European powers, and then tweaking it so that it becomes their own, but also that it breaks down the normative aspects of that colonial language. Furthermore, it can also take up certain Eurocentric pre-established ideas of life, of self, of world, and superimpose upon them their own native ways of looking at things. In both its forms, what an act of abrogation does in literary theory, in scholarly writing, as well as in creative writing is that it understands the normative standard established by the colonial powers, French, English, Italian, anyone else, and then it superimposes on it or replaces it with a native way of thinking, native way of writing, or native way of dealing with reality. And if you go beyond that philosophically, any philosophies, nativist or others, but post-colonial philosophies that proffer a different way of reasoning, a different way of offering explanations of the world, maybe retrieved from their own past, juxtaposing it against the Eurocentric norm, and then offering that as an alternative would also be an act of abrogation. So pretty much what it does is it basically erases any Eurocentric view or way of representing things and replaces it with some kind of retrieved native, either even pre-colonial way of looking at things. It can be in history where you can pick up a, a normal standard his, history account of an event and then completely abrogate it, replace it with a native account, with an account by those who were conquered. Uh, in literary studies, a great example of it is in linguistic terms, right? Taking away the normative representation of European languages instead of writing in perfect English, uh, authors play with the language itself. For example, Salman Rushdie's Midnight's Children is a great example what he does in that language without glossing in Hindi, Urdu, Persian words. Another great example is uh, Amos Tautola's famous novel, The Palm Wine Drinker, right? One of the first African novels and that abrogates the novelistic form itself, the way it tells the story. When you read it, it's written in English, but it's a different kind of English and the narrative structure itself doesn't match any of the European models of what is considered a novelistic representation. <clears throat> Beyond literature, in the realms of culture, then an act of abrogation would involve 
changing practices, what we do in life or thinking about life or thinking about actions, not necessarily in European terms or in terms established by Europe and European colonial powers, but in terms as informed by the native cultures, the native histories, um, mostly uh, the term abrogation also uh, it's other in a way is appropriation and appropriation is when the natives or the native writers they appropriate european forms european ways of expression and then infuse them with their own knowledge uh, abrogation is of course a more sphere form where you're not just appropriating the european forms for your own purpose you're actually replacing their logic their way of doing things their way of his believing in certain historical tropes or historical facts and replacing them with the knowledge of your own so that in a nutshell replacing the eurocentric norm with the knowledge practices history historiography and literary tropes of your own native culture would then be considered an act of abrogation thank you so much and there'll be more of these lectures thank you so much for joining me and please do subscribe if you like the content and if you want to stay up to date about what i'll be doing next thank you and goodbye